It is the peak of the peregrine falcon migration along the coastline of South Padre Island, and biologists with the Peregrine Fund and Earthspan are busy capturing, banding, and taking blood samples from these magnificent birds of prey. Well, we're looking for peregrines, falcons. We're trying to trap as many as we can this season to take blood samples. And the reason we're doing that is to try to, to find if there are any contaminants related to the oil spill. The biologists will compare blood samples from birds captured on South Padre in years past with those from current migrants. A similar study is underway on the East Coast. Just as declining numbers of peregrine falcons alerted the world to the dangers of the pesticide DDT more than 30 years ago, the falcons are once again serving as an important sentinel species. And we're applying our background knowledge of the peregrine and utilizing it as a sentinel species to see if any of these um, oil spill related contaminants are cycling through the food chain. Perched atop the food chain, the peregrine falcon during its migration along the gulf will accumulate toxins in ever larger quantities if they are present in the environment as they feed on birds sickened or weakened by exposure to the spill. Biologists hope to capture, sample, and release more than 100 birds on Padre Island this month, and the study is expected to continue for several years. With your Nature Report, I'm Richard Moore.